Hello. Hello. Why are you talking to them like you're 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 a priest? Just be like, yo, what's up? You know, like, we ask you on Instagram to send in your images of anything goes, and today we are here and we're going to edit them for you as long as she stops laughing. So the first photo we have is from Jack Morgan, who's a really cool guy. Oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna edit with our presets. We're not gonna edit from scratch. Otherwise, we would be here for like 10 years. Yeah. I think I'm done on the first one already. Just put it waiting for <laughs> I still haven't decided on the presets. Is it now the way we input that gif? Two hours later. You can tell everyone how we met while I'm editing the photo, aka looking for my presets. It was actually a year ago yesterday that we followed each other on Instagram. One of Taya's TikToks came up on my For You page of her portraits that she'd taken and I commented on it and then she was like, she said she was going to come to London and she wanted to shoot some portraits of me and she did. And then yeah, a month later she was here and the rest is history. What does that even do? Sometimes nothing. Okay. <laughs> When I edit portraits, I first start in Photoshop and I retouch the skin and then I do the colors and then I go back to Photoshop and like do the final adjustments. But here, we don't we have, have time. time. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing like the basic S curve on this one. For example, like this thing here on her leg, I would remove that in Photoshop. And usually like what I would do is I would take the brush tool and just go around the eyes to make them pop a little bit more. So I'll do that. You go to brush. Like I'm doing this very quickly right now. You get the idea. What I'm doing here is I'm just removing any distractions from the image. As you can see, these little blocks down here, they just sort of move your eye away from the actual subject. So we can just remove those with the spot removal tool in Lightroom. And you can get that up just by pressing Q on your keyboard. So be easy. I think I might be done. Yes, same. Oh, nice one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Photoshop definitely makes a huge difference, especially for like skin retouching and removing distractions because you can be like more precise than in Lightroom. But yeah, definitely Lightroom does the job. This is a nice shot. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this. First thing, what I'll do is I'll actually straighten the photo, and you can do that by, by using the tool to straighten the yeah, photo. Yeah, or yeah. you can actually click on this button here, angle, and then you can draw a line, and it does the job. It's already shot really nice. So yeah. I'm actually gonna do something very different with this image. I'm actually gonna reset and straighten it up, and then I'm gonna use a new feature in Lightroom, which is select sky. What? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> The sky is highlighted in red, so if you just press the O key, then you can see now what you're doing with it. So I'm actually going to play around with the sky, or we'll lower the highlights there. Maybe we can up the color a little bit. And then now you can also do the same thing, and you can then select subjects. So hopefully what Lightroom will do is it will select the guy on the boat, and it does. What I might do here, we can up the shadows a little bit. And then now I'll play around with the calibration tool. A lot of people don't use this, but you should because it can change the colors in like crazy ways, good and bad. I'll drop a little S-curve in here. Oh my god, we should be in like National Geographic or right? something. Right? Yeah. I think actually with this one, with him, I will lower him a little bit because the shadow's on him because you don't want him to be look too fake. As nice as the bird might be, <laughs> I'm gonna actually get rid of it. Just with the spot removal tool, do that and Lightroom will usually do the rest. Oh, what's done here? It's made the bird white. But this is why we use Photoshop for that. Quickly, if you press Command and E, that will fire up Photoshop. And then we can just go in here and zoom right in and draw around and then we'll hit edit content aware fill and oh, voila it's gone oh, this is just a mess This is a nice shot. For anyone that wants more like a dreamy look, what I usually use is the haze. I don't do it too much, but if you want to have like a softer, glowy look, that's the way to go. Also, what I would do is maybe go around her hair a little bit and maybe make it pop just a little bit more. Add 
a little bit more color. The preset I added, it just changes the colors, nothing else. So then I added some little small tone curve adjustments, a little bit of uh, shadows and whites. You up in the grain there, yeah? Yeah, so I decided to put grain in this photo, like a lot of grain, because it just gives me vintage vibes, like also the outfit that the girl is wearing, which mm. I think it's pretty cool. In Photoshop, I would remove these people here in the back. I think it's a bit distracting. Maybe I can try removing it. I'm not sure if it's gonna do much. Nope. <laughs> I really want to edit the skin. Yeah. When editing skin, like just make sure you like don't overdo it unless that's your style and you like that. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just retouching her skin a little bit. So this is the before and after. Cool, so now I just edited five images. We were supposed to edit 13, but this is where I'm deciding right now that this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something, like even by just watching us edit. This is gonna take ages to edit. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> what do we do? What? Oh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Me looking at your edits. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, this. That'll do. <laughs>